For OCAS, or the Orange County Audubon Society in the state of New York, every month at our sanctuaries is a wonderful month, but May is particularly eventful. The waterfowl that one could observe at our sanctuary, such as this one at Six and a Half Station near Goshen, New York, not only included those species which will remain with us all summer, but those which were migrating through, such as blue-winged teals, green-winged teals, and buffalo heads. For the waterfowl that will breed in our area, May was the time for eggs to hatch and for us to get our first glimpse at the next generation of cygnets from these mute swans, goslings from these Canada geese, and ducklings from these wood ducks. A number of different shorebirds have been observed at the sanctuary. Some have been migrating through to their breeding grounds in northern North America, such as these greater yellow legs, lesser yellow legs, solitary sandpipers, least sandpipers, and the spotted sandpipers which may remain here throughout the summer. Two types of plover were observed at the sanctuary this past month, the killdeer and the semi-palmated plover. Other aquatic birds included the American coot, and the common gallinule. Tree swallows are the most common swallow seen at the sanctuary, including this pair, which mated as we were taking one of our Audubon field hikes. But there were also other species of swallow at the sanctuary, such as barn swallows, bank swallows, and northern rough-winged swallows. The warblers at the sanctuary included both spring migrants, such as the yellow-rumped warbler, and warblers which will breed here throughout the summer, like the yellow warbler. A great diversity of other songbirds were seen at the sanctuary this month, such as goldfinches, Baltimore orioles, warbling vireos, brown-headed cowbirds, red-winged blackbirds, white-throated sparrows, song sparrows, savannah sparrows, cedar waxwings, and catbirds. Other sanctuary birds include great blue herons, green herons, kingfishers, red-bellied woodpeckers, bald eagles, which can be seen flying overhead, broad-winged hawks, turkey vultures, and chimney swifts. Of course, the sanctuary isn't only a habitat for birds, but also for other wildlife, such as mammals, including deer, raccoons, muskrats, chipmunks, and others. 
The sanctuary is home to diverse reptiles and amphibians, such as snapping turtles, painted turtles, spotted turtles, garter snakes, and bullfrogs. And there is so much more biodiversity at our sanctuaries, such as, you know, the insects, the aquatic invertebrates, the diversity of flowers that one can find, etc. Keep in mind, this sanctuary here, where all these photos have been taken, Six and a Half Station Sanctuary, is only about an hour from New York City, the most populated area in the United States. And there are other sanctuaries in Orange County as well that the Audubon Society maintains, such as at Stony Creek and Long Swamp, where these images and video clips have been taken. If you are a member of the Audubon Society, we hope to see you at some of our field trips or at some of our presentations. If you are not a member of the Audubon Society, uh, if you wanted to join, your support would help support the sanctuaries which provide habitat for all of the wildlife you have seen here. And these are simply the ones that I have been able to photograph in the past month. There is so much more which occurs over the course of a year. If you know anyone who might appreciate uh, reading our newsletter that gets sent to you, or the kids edition of the newsletter, or any of these videos, please support us and forward uh, these materials onto them. We hope to see you soon, and we hope you get a chance to enjoy the wondrous biodiversity which we have around us in Orange County and the surrounding area.